Good morning, or good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are. Uh, I'll, this is going to be a quick video on how I set up turn zones, or how you can try setting up turn zones using the PGS Heikinashi on your charts. Uh, turn zones have been in the indicator for a long time, pretty much forever, I think, certainly years. Um, and there is a certain way I use them which I don't think I've really ever covered and it's about time I did that so uh, that's what this video is about I was doing a little experiment and setting it up for myself on a new chart and I thought I really should share this so uh, obviously you require the PGS Heikinashi adapter uh, indicator rather um, if you haven't done that you can get a version from my site to just download and try it. Um, these bars that you see here in NinjaTrader 8 on this NASDAQ chart are in fact the Heikinashi indicator bars. It's just that the bar type is actually set to none. Um, so it's it's not displaying in a uh, Heikinashi style bar like that. Um, so for the purpose of this demo. That's actually how we're going to keep it because we're just going to use the turn zone functionality um, rather than the, the bars. So as I said 12 range NQ chart this is our lower time frame. Uh, what we want to do here is get some zones from the higher time frame. So the first thing we're actually going to do, uh, we've got seven days of 12 range data here we're going to add yeah, 60 range, 7 days of 60 range on the top. I'm going to use my null style so there's no bars. Uh, you can grab that for free, download it from my website if you want. Uh, I'll put a link to the website in the description uh, below. Uh, we're going to turn off the auto scale and display and things because it's a, a waste of resources and we're going to put it in the same panel so that it actually appears here not a separate box down below. Uh, I'm even going to turn off show global draw objects because that's evil um, in NinjaTrader anyway <laughs> and uh, the price markers off. So if we OK that now you can see up here we have 12 range and 60 range. The 60 range is not showing anything because it's hidden and the bar style is set to null. Uh, which is what we want. We just want the data, not the bars. So the first thing we will do is go into our indicators. Now we already have, I got my price line and a label and things here, but you can ignore those. We already have PGS Heikinashi here, which is showing these bars. But what we're going to do is add another instance of that. Uh, because the way I use these turn zones is, is a little different. and you, you can't actually do it in the same uh, indicator. Um, I've got a template here which I'm just going to load because there's a lot of settings and I don't want to go through them all but I will cover the essentials. So uh, uh, I'll also actually share the template. Um, so I'll put a link to that. Credit on, Swiss on Economic well. Expectations 5 minute warning. If German you... IFO <laughs> Business Climate 5 minute warning. M3 Money Supply Y forward slash Y 5 minute warning. Private loans Y forward slash Y five minute warning. Half hour turn approaching. Well, that was a timely news attachment. Please ignore that. I'm not going to redo this video because of it. Um, right, turn zones no bars is uh, a template I have set up uh, for Hikanashi. We will load that, and then I will skip to the relevant sections just quickly. Although you'll be able to get the template. So I've got on bars, I've got show bars unticked, which means this copy of the Heiken Ashley adapter won't actually print any bars on the screen at all, uh, which is one. I have it set the HA type to hike it, uh, dam Aoku, um, which is the smoothed Heiken Ashley, which you want. Uh, the important part really, just the turn zones. Uh, so I've got them enabled. A um, few options here. I will take off remove on first touch. Um, what else?
else do we want? Uh, the rest is okay. What we'll do, we've got uh, style options here. We've got the width at four. This will be our higher time frame zone. So what I will do is scroll to the bottom and where we have input series, I'm going to change that from the 12 range that's here now. I'm going to change that to the 60 range. Uh, our panel is the same as the input series and I'm just going to apply that. So then what you'll see is we actually have some zones appear. <laughs> that one appears to have worked. <laughs> um, so these are the higher time frame zones. These are actually the zones being drawn on the 12 range chart, but they're zones taken from the 60 range data. So that gives you your major zones. Um, so just move that back. What I'll do next, um, I'm going to add another uh, copy of the indicator, which is there. Oops. I'm going to load the same template as I loaded before, but this time I'm going to leave it on the 12 range. I'm just going to change the style option slightly because uh, these are minor zones, so I'm going to set these down to one, and I'm also going to drop the opacity just so they're not so prominent and I will OK that. And then what you see is uh, these minor zones appearing on the 12 range. Um, so to give you an idea, obviously what happened here, we've come down, we've hit the major zone, we've started to move up, and then you can see these minor zones, which are basically minor supports, if you like, have been drawn afterwards as price begins to move up. Um, what we'd be looking for if we're starting to get these, obviously, if, if trend is changing. Um, I don't want to really go into how to use them here, um, so I won't go down that track. But uh, this is just purely a video of how to add them to your chart, multi-time frame, and I will try and cover how I actually trade them in another video at some point, otherwise this will go on for an hour. Uh, hope that was useful. Uh, any questions, shoot an email via Twitter or the website. Thanks. US